Russia has concentrated 50,000 soldiers and 400 tanks for attack on Kupiansk. The Russian invaders managed to concentrate about 50,000 soldiers near Kupiansk, Kharkiv region. There are professional soldiers there. Ukrainian military expert Vladislav Zeleznev said this. According to Zeleznev, military personnel of a number of units of the 1st Guards Tank Army, the 6th General Army and the 11th Army Corps of the Baltic Fleet are currently stationed near Kupiansk. These are the best forces of the Russian army. According to information from about a month ago, there are up to 50,000 personnel, about 400 tanks, 650 armored vehicles, almost 250 artillery systems and 125 MLRS units. This is a very strong group, especially the artillery unit. Russian first deputy permanent representative to the United Nations Dmitry Polyansky told that Kiev government is hushing up its military failures in the Kupiansk area. The Russian military have made significant advances in the Kharkov region and are preparing to liberate Kupiansk, Polyansky said. While keeping the population silent about this disadvantageous dynamic, the Kiev regime has nevertheless announced forced evacuation of 37 settlements, including Kupiansk itself. This is not surprising. A significant part of the local population feels sympathy for Russia and would prefer to wait for the arrival of Russian troops. At the same time, the Ukrainian counter-offensive has failed, the Russian diplomat continued. For three months now, we have been watching the agony of the Kiev regime in the context of Ukraine's so-called strategic counter-offensive, which, according to Western propagandists, was supposed to bring a military victory, he said. The entire NATO military machinery was thrown in for this purpose, spending billions of Western taxpayers' money. But as the famous saying goes, it was just a mountain in labor. He added that even military equipment supplied by the West was unhelpful in this regard. The only result of the Ukrainian counter-offensive that even the West had to recognize was tens of thousands of Ukrainian soldiers who were killed and hundreds of items of costly Western equipment that were destroyed, he said. The world saw clearly that this equipment was not unique and inviolable for Russian weapons. What's more, in many cases, it cannot compete even with Soviet equipment manufactured 50 years ago.